thought this was over episode. Uh, I guess it's not really an episode. It's just kind of. I guess it's just like. Welcome back to another video. Because <laughs> we're playing Mario. Uh, no, we're playing. That's not right. That's not the name of the game. We're playing Captain Toad Treasure Track, or one of my favorite games. Uh, from the Wii U and all that. It's just. I really like this game. Um, and I have actually. If you look through my. Uh, this save, I have 100% completed every single book. I haven't played this game for forever, but I just wanted to go through them again. And I was like, hey, why not make a video of it? Alright, so... I'm not sure. I think I'll just go through like the most memorable of them. Uh, the problem is, I know I've... I'm, I have memories of every single one of these as I'm scrolling through. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, but this one's fun, I think. So I guess we'll do this. Yeah, we'll just kind of w s skip around everywhere. Just, uh, skip around all the books real quick, I guess. Uh... I'm, like, looking at this for the corner of my eye. What are you guys looking at? I- I'm not- I can't look up. Oh, there we go. Now I have time. I mean, I have, like, tons, but, like, why not? Give me that. Can I get the crystal? Yes, I can. Look at that. Uh, I think there's actually... Oh, we already missed a crystal. There was one at the very beginning behind us. That's, uh... I, I don't remember that. I have memories of every single one of these courses. I'm just starting to realize that. Uh... Um... Oh, there's a crystal down there. Ah... <laughs> uh, I cannot believe that I remember, like, every single one of these levels. I must have played this. I I did play this so much, if I'm being honest. Ooh, the Star Express. I mean, like this train is used a lot, but like I think th I I like the Star Express. I think as far as I remember, this one's pretty cool. Oh, it's pretty high up on my list of the train levels in this game. Ah, uh, but yeah, I just really love this game. <laughs> Uh, ev everything about it, pretty much. So it was a really cool game when I was when I first played it and all that. And I just, <laughs> I really love like the ready for adventure every single time. That was the part that I really liked. Uh, we can just avoid these side guys, by the way, as long as they don't see you. Oh yeah, we have to double around to like the back, maybe. Is the star on like the back? I don't remember. But I do remember, you're here, and if I toot this, I can toot the horn. And get a 1-up out of it. 80 1-ups, nice. I think I used to have 99. I think I might have lost some. Don't remember when. Sorry, I'm looking down. I'm trying to... Okay, you can't do anything there. Okay, never mind. Good to know. Oh, I almost died. Well, not died, but... Took damage. How could I take damage? Oh, right! He can turn the headlamp off and on. Oh. Yes. Ah. Uh, up. Oh. Big axe. Yes! Let's go! Get out of here. Get out of here, losers. Alright. And there's the star. Cool. You see, I was thinking about doing this for like a series, because I was like, yeah, that would be great. But then I opened up the game, and I was like, I, I, can, I am not, I, I cannot, I physically cannot delete this. It has too many, many memories, too much time put into it. <laughs> but I think what we are going to do for this video is play every Wingo level. That's definitely something I want to do. Yep, there's Toadette. Let's -a go save her. Oh, I have to go up here, right? Up here, yes. Yes, I made it. Okay, let's not move any further. Now let's go. Uh, there's a lot more, uh... A lot more sound I remember. Uh, did I go through that tunnel? Okay. Where do I go? I'm forgetting. Oh, hold on. Got it. Uh, let's not do that. Oh wait, that doesn't move? Oh, it moves the other way. Oh, we have to get her to move it that way, right? It's in our way. Yeah. Let me climb up here. 
And in we go. Where do I need to go? This way. Now here, Wingle's just gonna kinda look at us. It's like, ah, I see. You're climbing up. Wouldn't continue to do that if I were you. Oh, wait, that's it? Okay, it's literally just that beginning section. And then the boss. I'm used to them being like three segments long or so. Uh, and oh shoot, I messed that up. I need to. I need those turnips. I, mean, I, I don't. I don't really need to go against the wind there. His walls. I think that can change though. Uh. Oh, hold on. I have to spam Y. Okay, hold on. I got this. No. Got him. Well, I think I wouldn't have been able to get him there anyway. Ah, I just messed it up because I was like, "Let's run," and then I was like, "Oh shoot, that's the same button that is it is to throw." So that's what happened there. Up. Oh, no, he does it there. That's where you can't throw it. Okay, because he screams and it breaks all the things. Yeah, 81 lines now. Alright, I did it again. Eat my turnip! No! I'll eat this turnip! No, I mess, I'm messing up. I mean, I haven't taken any damage, but like, I'm messing up. I kind of don't, I don't really do that that much in this game. You don't really need to, honestly. <laughs> I don't think I've, like, moved the camera that much in this game, honestly. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. Well, definitely not on this boss, I feel like. I feel like you kind of just... I don't know, maybe I'm just making up crap. Uh... Alright, but here's the great part. You get to pull Toadette out by the feet. Because he's just drowning in gold. Did we take all this gold? It's never quite clear. Because, like, we, we're just sitting on this pile of gold and riches, and, y y you know, we just grabbed a star. I mean, are we more interested in the star or the gold? Oh, wait a minute. I never noticed this. Have I not noticed this? Captain Toad does a dance. I do not remember this. I just remember walking around and he, and then just grabbing a star. I don't think I've ever stopped to look at this dance. Oh my gosh. How, how did I miss this? Anyway, let's get the star. The invisible star. Uh, oh, I remember this one a lot. That one was a cool one. That one's pretty fun. Um... Ooh, Sinister Street Signs is a cool one. Oh, uh, yeah, that one. And the Drift Along, yeah. I, I just know every single one of these. Like, whenever I see the boat, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, uh, hold on. We gotta play at least this one. This one we have to play. Uh, I feel like we should play this one. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going down. I'm just remembering all the times I've played this. Probably played this course, like, 500 times or something. Uh, now. Sweet. Nope. Oof. I accident. Because, like, uh, X? No. Can, what, what else can we use there? Can't we use, like, a button? There you go. I don't think you can use a button. Keep going. Alright, spin! This is awkward with the microphone, because <laughs> it's just really hard to do. Alright. Oh boy, this is going to be hard. Got it! Got it! And up we go. Nice! Okay. Oh, and you may notice I have a crown. Uh, that's because I beat the mummy. There's like a mummy thing that lasts a hundred levels. That's how you get a crown. Uh, 
probably one of the th things I spent the longest on in this game, if I'm being honest. It took me a long time to get there. Alright. But yeah, here we are. Game me to star. I like all the train levels, now I'm thinking about it. They're all really cool. Uh, yeah, I definitely remember that. Alright, Battle Tower Blitz. Let's do that one real quick. Then we'll head to the third book, then the last book will... The last book's gonna take... The bonus book's gonna take a while. That one's probably what I spent the longest on. Alright. Just give me a moment, guys. I'll be with you in just a second. Just let me ignore every single one of you, because I can't jump on any of you. And, uh... I mean, I could drop on you. <laughs> but, like... Yeah. Alright. Let me just bop off of y'all. Alright. Jump on out of there. And grab me one of these. Uh, okay. I can get you, though. Can I get him? Ah, oh, I was too late. I think I'm gonna have to wait for the next one. Okay. Got him. Got him and got him. Give me the bridge, thank you. Uh, there he is, though. I mean, is he really kidnapped? Looks like he's doing fine on his mountains of gold there. That he doesn't own, but like... Who's keeping track? How about now? Uh... I just realized I can just spam this. <laughs> uh... I don't, I don't think I remembered that. Uh, hold on. Where are you? Die! Oh, you guys. I forgot about you. I forgot you guys existed. I I did not remember you could just spam turnips. Uh, <laughs> that is something I completely forgot about. But anyway, there's that. There's no actual win go battle there? I mean, there's this, but like... You know, Wingo takes the star back again. And all that, but like, you know, no Wingo battle. So that's, that's a, that's a little interesting. Ruling Inferno. Oh, boy. I, I'm just scrolling through these, just remembering everything. Oh, that one's a good one. Ah, I gotta limit it, though. So is that one. And that one. And that one. Uh, that one's, that one's good, too, but not as good. Oh, this one's great. We had to play this one. Uh... You know, back to the very interesting combat of just running away and hiding. Alright. Okay, so I can't just spam turnips in here. Uh, Alright. You guys are good seeing a very different POV than me. I'm actually, like, hitting these guys and all that. I don't know. Is there any way you could, like, show the Wii, Wii U gamepad with the capture card or something? I wonder how that would work. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys later. Cause, uh... You guys are kinda slow. I, I know, it's shocking. Let's, uh... Give me that. G give me the ruby. Okay. I am... Just being bad at this. Okay, there we go. Got it! Uh... Give me that crystal. Okay. Ooh, one up. Is it this? Oh yeah, there it is. There's the crystal. Got all three. Not that, not that it really matters. Yay! Don't you guys love looking at these mountains? It's a great view, I know. All right, there we go. <laughs> nice. All right, train. No sleep at Magic Koopa Keep. Uh, we gotta do this one at least, cause this one's pretty cool. Y you know, it's a little kind of like y you got you gotta. It's like it's a little pinball pinball thing, but you are pinball, but you are ball challenge. <laughs> Let's go, guys. It's fairly simple, if I'm being honest. You just have to get all the lights at the end, all colored. Uh, you have to light all of them up. 
and uh, you know, all the rest of this stuff is pretty much just uh, extra stuff for like 100% completion and all that. So yeah, we'll just get the star real quick and be on our old merry way. Because we got other things to play. Other levels. Many, many other levels. Unless there's something I really... Oh, we have to down. I was gonna say, we're just gonna go straight to the boss, but like, I got, I gotta have, I we gotta do this one. Oh shoot. This is gotta be awkward. Go! Go, Toad, go, Toad! I mean, it's not like they can get hit by any of these. Alright. It's been a while since I played this one, and you have to go really fast and all that. I'm not sure how well I'm gonna do. Oh shoot, those things do hit you now. Forgot about that. Let's go here. Here's just, just mostly a star. I was like blowing and it wasn't really going off, and I was like, shoot, go, 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 go. It's not working. It's not working. You know, I'm just gonna head out. Uh, you, you guys get the point. I, I kinda just wanna get through this now. Alright. So yeah, Toadette gets captured again at the very end, I think. Something like that. Yeah, Toadette. Alright, let's go save you, Toadette. You know, in this game it's weird how... how Captain Toad decides to, like, save Toadette, and Toadette saves Captain Toad. Also, you can just kinda sit on here. You good? You, you know, Toad's got a like, strong grip. Ah, uh, just remember that. Um, but the weird thing about these like battles is like half the battle, Toad is just running. He's just running. If you if you think about it, is he really being heroic? I mean, of course he he probably cares about like Toad and all that. And a star, let's be honest. The star they're gra grasping onto is probably very important to them. Uh, are they saving are they saving each other or are they going for the star? Maybe a bit of both. Uh could you give me a one uh, mushroom? Thank you. Thank you. What what are these guys' names? Do they even have names? One's just the brains, one's the one's the napper, one's the mapper. The napper and the mapper. They, they don't work very well together. One gets everything done, the other gets nothing done. I think we just go here, right? Yeah, we just we just gotta go back up. Uh Okay, cool. Uh, this one you gotta have to move around to the platforms. This is not gonna work. Because I am not going the right way. You can go to send me over. And uh, now let's sit here. Give me you, actually. Yeah, there you go. Die. Um, I guess I kind of like sit here now. Guess I can get this, too. Cool. I was on the rail for a second there. I was like, oh, kind of don't want to be here. Uh, is that it? Yep, okay, we're ready for the boss battle. I think this one has, like, two phases. Like, twice as many phases as last time. Oh, and lightning. Forgot about that. Uh, up. Alright. Got him. Got the birdie. Come on, I got this. Aha! No! How about how about that? You wanna do his hack? Well how about no? Alright, Toadette, thank you for the one up. I appreciate it. And more lightning! Oh wait, no. No, no lightning. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, not gonna lie, lightning is kind of annoying. Never mind, you did lightning. 
Okay, so I can keep hold of this. I thought I might need to actually like, run to get away from the thing. Oh shoot. You were smart! He hit himself behind one of his lightning. Uh, we're halfway there now. You guys get the gist. I'm... I'm not gonna... I'm not really focusing on, like, actually beating these levels. I'm just trying to go through some of the best levels in this game, I would say. Um, or at least my favorites. Uh, these are all on Mario 3D World. I think they're, like, the exact same. Not sure. Haven't really checked. Uh... Toe Brigade levels are pretty cool. This one's probably one of my favorites out of all of them. What else have we got? We also have the Mummy Me ones where a mummy chases you. And, oh, then we just have like the episode, for the episode, the, the prologues of all the episodes. Those take like no time at all. Uh, I think what we'll do is, I mean, we are, we are, we're kind of already going to do a Mummy Me thing, so I think what we'll do is Toe Brigade, then the Mummy, one of the Mummy things on my foot is asleep. Alright. Thank you. Destroy that for me, and let's get that. Alright, so basically, you got to get all the Toad members here. So where's... There's one down there. I think one's out there. Okay. Could you guys not... Down, okay. Who wears the key? This one's a lot of moving parts. Oh wait, it's right here. I remember now. Down I go. Put the key in the hole. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you're the napper. Cool. I see how it is. Oh wait, yes? I don't know. I didn't- I don't know if I can run there or not. With the key. We may never know. Uh, hold on. You're stuck. I forgot that they can get stuck. Alright, let's head on over here. I think what I need to do here is do that. And get rid of them. So he doesn't, uh, do anything. Oh, right, they can't get heater. Hit, e they can't get hit eater. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave. I guess we'll do this one real quick, too. Because why not? You know, might as well. Uh. Alright. I think this one's fairly simple. Let's kind of go along the... I mean, this level is fairly sim simple, I think. You don't really have too much to do. You just go on the little flip thing, follow the path, and you're pretty much good. Unless you want to go for, like, the collectibles and all that. In that case, it's a bit more complicated, I would say. Uh, not by much, though. Oh, shoot. Uh, See ya. Shoot, that was a bad idea. Uh, Mummy Maze Forever. That one's gonna take me a long time, honestly. I'm not sure if I want to. Might as well. But yeah, we've gotten to uh, level 50. That's the highest it goes. This may take a while. And I'm gonna need to kind of focus for this, I suppose. All right, let's uh, let's get into this. All right, so basically, what you're trying to do is get as much money and not die. Those are your two goals. Very simple, but it gets a lot more complicated. I don't feel like I'm gonna. I will just give this one run. Uh, hopefully, I get more than ten. I hope. I if I don't, I'm gonna be kinda disappointed because I used to be able to get like all the way up to 50. So, yeah. We'll see how this goes. Oh, wrong way. 
Because this, this is just a big maze with a lot of enemies. That's basically what this uh, whole thing is. And you can't really stay in one place for... You can't stay in one place for long, because there's a mummy behind you. Eventually that turns into more mummies. Because, uh, you know, one's not hard enough. Ne never, never was. One is never enough. Uh, except for when it is, but that's that that only happens sometimes. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I kind of forgot about the charging truck. Uh, gold mushroom though, so that's cool. Doesn't actually do anything besides money, so not very helpful in that regard. But you know, it exists. Uh, it is indeed a thing that exists. Uh, that's nothing that right. Yep, that's dead end. Okay, glad I left that area. Okay, nice. Heading straight towards the goal. My goal here is to get to as high a level as possible, not really to actually get a lot of gold in there. You know, you know gold, as much as it's like all over these levels, you never... There's never really, there's no incentive to really go after it in this game, so I just never have done that. Uh, 650 gold, though. So that's pretty cool. Or coins, but like, there's, there's like other coin, gold things that, you know, give you coins, so I guess. I don't know, whatever. Uh, and right there, that guy just killed one of his own kind. Um. This is kind of a chill level. You just get some stuff. Y you know. Like a gold mushroom, that. Wingo poster. That that's probably the most important of all those items. Okay, we at least made it to level 10. I'm okay, then. I I'm happy with at least making it to level 10. Ah. I mean, that's like a fifth of the way there. Alright, so now there's Goombas, it's like the main enemy. There's no more like enemies that just like kind of stand in one spot. At least as far as I'm aware. Uh, this is a dead end, isn't it? Maybe, yep, it's a dead end, okay. Not nice. You see, that's where it really gets you. Dead ends. You, you can't really do much about them. Hmm. Yeah, kind of sucks. Alright, but in any case, let's uh, not get killed by a Goomba. Which honestly, it's not that as embarrassing as getting killed by Goomba Mario. Because these things chase after you, and you can't really just jump over them, because you can't jump because your backpack's so heavy. <laughs> you gotta wonder what Toad keeps in that backpack. How, how many supplies did he bring that he just never uses? I mean, he can set up like his own camp, like, in, like in just a moment's notice. So I'm sure he has a ton of stuff in there. Uh, okay, this is a real windy path. Uh, mushroom, sweet. Now I can take another help. Ne take another hit. Ah, uh, words are getting mixed up. And charge and chuck. All right. Seeing you guys later. I'm out of here. It's a boo. Uh, normally I could just look at them, they would die, but like, can't really do that now. Also, that's kind of like the only enemies that Captain Toad has any defense, has any like way to attack. Like any real like undead enemy, you can just shine the light on and they just kind of die eventually. Takes you a while, but like, you can't kill them with that. Uh, cool. Avoided that boo. And on to the next level. Alright, if we get through this level, there'll be a break, I think. Can we actually get to level 50? That would be nice. I'm not sure if we can, but it would be cool. Right, break? Yep, cool. Alright, nice. Let's get all this. Nice, okay. Alright, 14,000. Or 1,400, not 1,000. That's, uh, 
Those are drastically different numbers. Alright. Alright, let's hurry up. This uh, video is long enough already. And I, I'm not sure if I'm even going to edit this. Because, <laughs> like, what am I going to edit out of this? It's, uh, there's not really anything that I really feel like I need to cut out. Then again, what if I, I, I gotta get to 10 minutes, right? <laughs> uh, not that any of that really matters, because, like... Yeah, um... Oh, there's a lot of gold here. Oh, that's nice. I'm not gonna get it all, though. Uh, okay, sweet. We are going the right way. Okay. Come on. Oh, Mads Koopa. Oh, shoot, I totally missed the charging truck there. Ah, nice. Alright, and then the rest of the... Yeah, the rest of the... Those are coins gal galore stuff. I guess I'll play one of those and end it off there. Cool. Uh, pickaxe is more fun, I believe. If I remember, I like the pickaxe ones better. Uh, let's go. Oh yeah, you gotta find the place where the, there's no uh, solid blocks. You gotta do that fast, or else you can't get to the mountains of gold at the bottom. Almost made it down there. Yeah, that's pretty much it there. Just really short. Um, in any case, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Just squad if you're not already. See you guys later. Bye.